Hi everyone, I often get asked questions about um, rerouting with wool. So I thought I would do, while I'm in the middle of rerouting for my Halloween girls, um, I would share what I'm doing. So for starters, I often get asked what type of wool or yarn that I use, and I use 100% acrylic. Mm. acrylic. Um, but sometimes I even use just 100% um, wool. So whatever color that I'm after is the color that I will use or the type of wool that I will use. So Frankie is going to be a special one um, where I'm going to do mainly white hair, but I'm going to mix it with a bit of gray and a bit of beige. I don't even know what color that is. Um, so to start with, I cut my lengths as you can see, and then I twist them apart and I just pull them out. So the reason I do this, um, well, there's a few reasons. For starters, trying to put one of these through my rerouting tool. This is my trusty tool. That's the eye of the needle, so I've cut it on an angle trying to put that through well as you can see it doesn't all make it in so rereading with that is a little bit of a struggle but I'm happy to show and see what it does so as you can see not all of it gets in the eye of the needle so when we try to reroute it I mean it goes in sometimes but then there are bits that that aren't in there so the more that you use for the needle, <clears throat> the more likely you're going to break it. So you'll go through quite a few needles when you do it like this. Um, I also like to brush out the hair at the end. So I use a pet brush and I brush the hair at the end. I'm not going to do it now because for me, this is the easiest way. This, this technique works for me. Um, a different technique might work, might work for you, but this is what works for me. So um, also if you use if you use the full piece, um, the doll can end up being really top heavy. So I prefer using these pieces. So all I do is I twist it when I when I wrap it around my finger just so that all the threads are together. And as you can see it loads in well apart from when I do that. We all make mistakes, even people who've made a hundred dolls, we still make mistakes. So I just hold it together and then we push it in and there you go. So sometimes I just like to continue to make sure the rest of it is in the hole. Um, but that's it. Now when you brush out the hair, even though I've got what looks like a long length, you will lose a lot of length. So you'll only end up having maybe down to their back, just the bottom of their back, their lower back. Um, but that's the way I do it and I hope that's helpful. So good luck to you.